Hello all, Project Wargaming back with an update on the uh, 3D <coughs> Battle of Berlin board. Sorry, I've been fighting a cold uh, for the last week or so, um, but I uh, have been working slowly on getting the uh, rubbled areas of the board built up <coughs> and situated. So what I first did on this was I came in and uh, <coughs> just simply took some... Uh, paint uh that's been uh, mixed in with a little bit of mod podge and then also i took some uh wood flour which is a really finely ground uh wood product and then mixed that up and then put that over top of it to give me uh, just kind of a muddied up space um you can see on the board that i have uh, got quite a few kind of put out there um but i just wanted to focus in on this area here just to explain how i did it so um, hopefully you can see kind of the texture that's in there. So this area here uh, definitely had some defenses and stuff built up. And so I just wanted to model that. So what I used was a sculpta mold, which is uh, some uh, plaster things with some a little bit of a, a paper product mixed into it. And so it can give you build up texture and, and things on there. So I have, uh, after I got it all painted, and then I came in and put the the uh, sculpted mode over top of that. Um, when you when you first put it on, it's very wet, and so it takes a while to be able to get to a stage where you can actually mold it. And so you've probably been wondering why I have this uh, um, highlighter in my hand is because this is what I actually used. Um, once I kind of had the basic molds done, I I let it dry, I let it start to set up, but then I came in. And actually pressed in this to give me textures that I wanted to make it look like it had been cratered um, on the surface and so uh, I just went around and, and did that pretty much every place and uh, I let that dry and now I'm getting a, a base coat over top of it as well and then I will come in and start putting some highlights of uh, browns and and stuff on there and then i'll darken up the craters a bit so they pop a little bit more so that's uh that's what i've been working on uh slow and steady been under weather a little bit so taking it easy but uh um this will give me uh, it breaks up the uh the park area nicely i think and so it doesn't just kind of look at all all one the same um, it'll also be used in gameplay to give players places to move to and provide some cover for them as they're moving across the board or maybe hiding in, in those as well. And then um, next is I'll, I'll work on some uh, statues to, to put into the park. And then f the final thing I'll do in the park area is actually start adding some trees in. Um, it was April, so trees were leafed out. But if you look at the pictures, they were all tore up. And so there's not going to be a ton of leafy trees out here. It's going to be uh, much more scrubby. So anyways, I just thought I'd give you an update. Hope you're doing well. We'll talk to you later.